season one, episode five of The Acolyte was the greatest 45 minutes in Star Wars history as far as uh, media on video or television that I've ever seen. I, I don't understand all this woke and it's not going with canon. Now I've not seen all, I have not, I've seen all the canon as far as new canon books gone. I read, well, I haven't read audiobook on Thrawn. I think it was three parts on that. So it was three books. And there was another three book series off of the new canon uh, books. So I haven't consumed all the canon, but I can, if I were to sit here and make a video, I could take Clone Wars and show exactly, I, uh, um, I believe her name is Leslie, that whoever wrote The Acolyte definitely studied Clone Wars. It's basically ripped directly from Clone Wars. The whole space lesbians and stuff like that. I mean, those are the witches of Dathomir. It's the Night Sisters. It's not, it's been done before. So this is nothing new. I mean, the, they're talking about how this new guy, oh, he's not supposed to be a Sith. The Sith, it's all like small potatoes and stuff like that. You take Game of Thrones and House, House of the Dragon, they have written canon. I, I watch people do reviews on House of the, Dra the Dragon. They are so happy that the that the television show actually quotes the book one time in a whole hour episode so there'll be a line where so-and-so says something and they're like oh you know that's in the book real happy like okay not an issue just tell the story and go for the, the book is one thing we got this there's there's 100 people can watch a movie and you'll have 100 different versions of what somebody saw that's how history works well for some reason in star wars everybody it has to be the same everybody has to see see it the same it's like this communist mind thing going on over there and i kind of want to talk this show but it's more about it's about people being followers and being led around you have probably some some group of people in north korea like some anti-american you know hey i just want to cause chaos and stuff like that let me talk crazy about something that you know is part of american culture and you got people who are easily led by the opinions of others who they don't even know who, who these others are it's on the, the internet so everybody in the world is now watching the acolyte to, to talk bad about it this is crazy if you don't like the media you don't want to consume it just move on on the last you know the the disney projects which star wars disney projects which i wasn't even the biggest fan of i hated rebels this was before everybody had an inter internet review show a lot of youtubers theory may have been out at the time but not a lot of people were talking about Star Wars media because there wasn't much Star Wars media. I used to always clown on Rebels and then Resistance, but then I grew to say, hey, some content is better than no content. It may be for a younger crowd, a different crowd, just because it's not for me. Let me back off of it, you know, and I grew to like it. I watch Rebels now, I'll watch Resistance or whatever. It is what it is. Something's better than nothing. I've came to the conclusion of that. If it's not, even if it's not the story of how I would have told it, or if it's not exactly how I like it, or something, if it's something I want to consume and it's in the 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 sphere or universe, you know, that they're they're writing about. Hey, I'm with it. You know, it's like that's how they see it. Let me sit back and watch it. So, got a lot of people just chiming in and just coming in out of nowhere it's like who are these people like when did they become fans and i could tell a lot of people talking about it they're not they have not watched clone wars they have not if they're talking about writing clone wars would change one day hondo would kidnap freaking doku and 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 anakin and obi-wan and then the next day some padawans are out foxing hondo it's all over the map it, it is what it is and that's real life one day you're on top of the world <coughs> you all right mama one day you're on top of the world you know can't be beaten the next day you can't get a win it is what it is it's not this linear you know trajectory on how life is it's all over the map so people are like oh it, it. i could go down the opinions of everybody in a comment section or even like the the most well read or, or well watched uh um authority right now on on the acolyte and how it's you know how it's so terrible and just just rip them apart just off of basic without reading the books i wasn't the biggest legends fans and stuff like that you know i only consumed basically what was 
present and I wasn't going looking for somebody's fan fiction writing that a hundred of his homies read and it's like the canon you know between these hundred people who read this one little book it's like all right bro there's so much of that out there I mean no I did not read that and I think that's the problem is a lot of the OGs are basing it off of this legend stuff that I mean it's it's not it, it's real but it's not you know and it sucks you read something you have this this whole world made up in your head like okay this is how it is and then somebody buys the ip which is theirs you know and they they switch it up and and it's like people are heartbroken about something that never was it was just a, a story and there's millions and billions and trillions of stories to be told and there's so many different angles and it's crazy to watch people try to cubby hole it into one way and it has to be their way this big woke and anti-woke the anti-woke is worse than the woke so that's where i'm at and it trips me out that you have people who who speaking of ip example is uh there's a popular youtuber dj academics he's a, he's a big drake fan you know drake dropped some projects that to me are questionable even i can tell dj academics isn't really feeling it but he knows where his bread is butter he goes man i make money off of this dude's ip reviewing it his fans come to me they want to know what i think of it you know i'm not going to be too heavy-handed too harsh on it i make money off of this now dj academics makes money he has you know fans of all different walks of life and he talks about a, a lot of different subjects as far as hip-hop just life you know he's one of the people who review things and talk about it right so that's one example you have people who talk specifically and solely about star wars who's it's not their ip who who star wars uh star wars ip has changed their life i mean I, I don't know how their life would have been but i see these people it looks like they're living good they got houses cars you know living a life that people around the world can only dream of off of the off the work the blood sweat and tears i'm not saying they don't put blood sweat and tears but off of the hard work the ideas the art of somebody else they're just talking about somebody's art that art has changed their life and these people talk negatively about that art and i understand the frustration because i i've seen you know the movies i haven't been but a lot of the reason the movies suck is because they've been trying to make these people happy you know like throwing them little bones little nuggets little you know quotes from the past and stuff and it messes up the flow of the movie it's like trying to make a complainer happy it gives them more room to complain it's like some people are just going to complain right a complainer is going to complain i learned that a long time ago in life that's just a personality some pre this person is always going to be cheery this person is always going to compl complain it's like the, the the dwarves you got sleepy dopey da, da, da. The people just that's their personality right like it is what it is right and, and disney went out of their way to make a complainer not complain and it backfired on them so here we are with more and more complaints you have people who make their their whole livelihood off of that tearing down the ip it's like okay when it, when it goes away then then what what like what are we gonna have what are you gonna do it's like they're leading the charge against it and you have outside forces like lord knows who's on the computer and what's their reason behind saying something is good or something is bad especially something big billions of dollars americana there's people out there like rogue countries and their military they can't fight us in a, a fair fight but they can take down some of our best companies and corporations playing on the computer all day like they know like their rifles ain't gonna do nothing but their their little words can and they can just go around and you know like oh i could do this i could do that i can ruin their stock price over here i'm speculating i have no idea but i do know that there's more interest in the acolyte than i've ever seen before in a disney show or product and it's all negative and it's all it looks like not all lots of bots and you got people who are easily you know you got the red pill movement going on anti-women woke you know they're so woke that they don't like girls no more they're just with the, the boys they got a romanian pimp thought leader you know it's just like man it's like all right which is cool that's cool i listen you know whatever if you take the gold where you where you get it from but some people are easily led you know like they're they don't have a mind of their own they look they're they're looking to the left and to the right before they say if they like something or not instead of just looking within and being like okay you know i'm with this i don't like this this is about you know and we, okay it's like you when people talk to people they want to hear your opinion they don't want to hear well i don't know what that i want to hear what that what 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 you think i don't want to hear what somebody on the computer told you to think i'll just go talk to the person on the computer who told you to think that way right like i'll go to the horse's mouth i don't need you to regurgitate 
what 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 the Borg, you know, Cube Center has told you. I need to know as an individual, do you like this? What do you not like? Da, 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 da. So we got people who make their their, their bread and butter off of uh, Star Wars ripping it down. It's it's just sad to see. It's a, I think it's um, an excellent show. Oh, the lesbians. Yeah, so the space lesbians. And, 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 you know, I get the woke and, you know, they're trying to change society and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of that going on. I totally get it. But this is not new. It's like they copied Clone Wars. You, who, whoever did this, clearly the whole way through is copied Clone Wars. Like, if you're watching this and you have a problem with it, you have a problem with Clone Wars. Because they... It's, I can show you how it was exactly this person studied it and was like, okay, they like this. Well, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make it live action and I'm going to switch it up a little bit. You know, I'm going to change this. To, it kind of like saying like the, the people would act this way in certain situations. They got that all from the Clone Wars. <laughs> it's like, okay, someone so does this and da, 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 da. Like, this is, I can just, it would, I would have to go through and do editing and show like, okay, this is from that. This is from that. But people are talking about, oh, the guy's too strong. You know, I, this is a comment I read in the, you know, oh, da, da, he ran through all these nights. When Savage Press was first made, he, he killed a Jedi, the two a Jedi and a Padawan in like a, a matter of seconds. If there was 10 Jedis there, Savage would have killed the ball right then and there, just like the dude with no name. I mean, Savage was, was, you know, this is all nothing new. Like, none of this stuff there. Like, I seen somebody goes, how is this guy such a tough Sith Lord? And he got, uh, you know, beaten by Bugs. Bugs have, uh, if you watched uh, uh, Rebels, uh, Clone Wars, Bugs, little flies or flying creature, all kinds of stuff have took out the, the Knights and the Masters and stuff like that. So this is, like, once again, nothing new. I mean, over and over and over. It's like any fan of Star Wars who could just kick back turn the internet off listen you know and i could get it hey if you don't like something you don't like some writing there's a lot of uh we got a lot of play-dohs and homers out there now they're talking about writing you know these all writing experts and one day they're freaking sith lords and jedi knights the next day they're they're a freaking writing review expert you know siskel and ebert and stuff it's like all right it is what it is so the lesbians is a bad thing oh, okay it's woke and it's changing society luke kissed his sister like what their their leader of luke who's a 45 year old jedi knight started training he never did nothing force sensitive nothing in his life he, he couldn't do nothing he trained for 10 minutes uh, <laughs> on the millennium falcon it, like and he's the the knight of knights who kills the chosen one this, talk about bad writing like what he kissed his sister oh and then also uh, pedophilia so what about annie and snips how old was snips and annie when they were on their little missions like the greatest knight the the chosen one he could force push you force he could force choke you through a television screen that's the strongest force choke i've ever seen but his communications don't work when he on his little missions with with halter top snips snips was like 12 anakin was like a grown man and they were going off on their little side missions missing all the time snips over there giving anakin these cute little eyes like what come on now we got a problem with space lesbians and it, it didn't even like infer that they were lesbians it just showed some women at one place right and these fools are like these are lesbians like you could clearly watch the behavior between anakin and ashoka and be like damn this is like way more it's a spartan relationship where you have an older person and a younger person and look up how the spartans did it you know like that's what anakin and stuff i mean people who watch the show know this they've said this i mean this is not new information so to have these people come in here and be like oh they're lesbians it's like bro did you not see the incest that was, or in, in the pedophilia that was going on in previous seasons man and i came here to i was gonna be like oh you know this is the best um i think it's the best uh fighting scene ever in, in star wars and i was gonna knock out all the great fighting scenes and man all the great uh saber duels i mean i looked at a lot of them but what i got sidetracked on is because people are anakin the chosen one ahsoka is better than anakin look up ahsoka verse watch all the fights that ahsoka has been in with she fought uh she fought everybody grievous uh who she fight maul 
I mean, she fought Anakin, she fought, uh, not Anakin, Vader, she fought, like, Ahsoka has literally fought everybody in this, the, the, the Star Wars universe in her time. Anakin never fought anybody. <laughs> if you go Anakin verse, like, Anakin's fights were all, like, two-on-one. I think, uh, what, he didn't even fight Grievous, I don't think. I think he showed up at the end. Obi-Wan had fought him. Like, I'm trying to think of who Anakin, you know, really had fought in a great duel. I mean, him and Obi-Wan fought, you know, like, Anakin when he lost his mind <laughs> and turned into Vader. Yeah, Vader versus, but, I mean, it's all, oh, they're taking away our great heroes of Anakin and, and, and Luke. They're the worst ones. They need to take them away. That's the worst writing. Really sit back and in 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 digest it like who have like this reminds me of a real life conversation when i was in fourth grade this kid gabe was talking about perception and you know really fighting and and basically making a statement like you you win so handily that other people see it and you don't have to fight again he's like your reputation people talk about it and stuff like that and it's like are you really that tough or or people just you know they're afraid of finding out that's anakin this is like uh, every nobody was afraid of Ahsoka. Ahsoka had to like prove it every time and she went out there and did it you know anakin was like huh, huh, you know like, uh. yeah and, and it's just like they're like i've seen people oh they're trying to make the jedi out to the bad guys and I don't want to, I have to go through this specifically. I have to make an edited video. The Jedis are the bad guys. They don't do anything. I remember that one episode in Clone Wars where it was like some farmers and, and basically it was like the Separatists were probably on that planet because something the Jedi had did, you know, so the Separatists was over there and they were coming to collect all the food and the Jedi, part of their religion was they couldn't help the farmers fight. And, and so they train the farmers to fight with freaking garden tools. That's the Jedi. The Jedi will sit there and watch you die. How, <laughs> because it's part of, that's not the, their religion. Like, you're an animal. Like, like if you're on wild safari and you see a lion killing something you can't jump in and help it that is the the jedi religion like it's the same thing it's like watching two dogs fight is like they're like hey i can't get into it because that's the law of nature you know i'm a jedi i'm da, 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 da. what's the purpose right they only get in it when 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 the government tells them to do something like they're basically tools of like uh I mean, that's how the story is written, how people perceive the story to go of, of what I believe George Lucas was saying. If you watch it, it's like reversed. Like people have this good and evil, which there is, you know, and they're like the Jedi are good and the people who watch it are good, obviously, and they vibe with the Jedi, but the Jedi aren't good. And, and maybe the person who's thinking that that they're good and the jedi are good aren't good either if that's that's my point point. and in some ways the empire is good right they, they they bring order they bring you know uniformity now it's like a lot of communist overtones but the the but with the senate you had all kinds of mayhem all kinds of wars you had separatists you had all these groups you had people easily tricked you know you had corruption you had the banking system all this different stuff is basically telling you our world today about how you're being played, how you're being tricked, how you're a follower, and it's happening here in real life, in real time for the world to see. I mean, we can all go on the internet and see, you wonder like, oh, how did all these people get get played, you know? Like, how how is the chancellor able to, you know, fool all these people? Well, it's happening here in real time. You can go on the computer and see that you're being played, you're being fooled probably some freaking Russian uh, whatever they are they sit in a room and bang on the computers all day you know like trying to tear down Disney like hey if we can't beat them in a war we'll take out a couple stock prices we'll hijack their you know computer system or whatever <laughs> like people got all different ways to fight you know and watching people get defeated by this like base level fighting it's even affected me man i was on if you go to see you in history it's a uh it's a youtube channel and yesterday he was talking about minerva this is my girl and i was just kidding right it's uh, on his community thing he had a video about minerva a couple months ago and he kind of put on community to let people know like hey check out this video and i was like what is this woke 
lesbian garbage, you know, like, da 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 And he probably is like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Because really now it's like anytime somebody mentioned a girl and a warrior and stuff like that, I'm like, this is woke, you know, she should be making me a sandwich when the reality is these were the real warriors, you know, like, that's how it was a historic for written uh, in ancient times. This isn't like some new story that somebody's just making the girl the tough person. Like, no, thousands of years ago, they told this same story, just like George Lucas or whoever has written these stories. A lot of times you can, it's the stories recycled over and over. And I'm not saying like, this is not new ideas because it is right. But the theme will be the same, right? It's not, you can only, there's only so much, right? That we see, we know and how we're going to tell it. It is what it is. But my, that's my point. It was like, now I'm looking at media and before I would just consume it. Like, this is my girl. I would just be like, oh yeah, Minerva. Da, da, da. This is who so-and-so is, you know, by another name and blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, this is woke, you know, I'm trying to be funny. But the person on the other end, probably has no clue of what I mean by that and that's what I meant by it it's like yeah it, 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 that's how I see other people now like responding to things they see a woman or a female and they just get so like I don't know like um, it makes them feel like smaller than like like hey if this girl's tougher than I have no idea I, I, I don't know like what people think to be honest with you but it's just the reactions I see I want the media to live on. Um, I think it's a good show. This is my opinion. Everybody in the world can say it's zero out of 10. I've seen way worse out of Star Wars before Disney took over. I mean, <laughs> this is nothing new. It is what it is. There's a million trillion stories to be told and I'm happy to hear them. That's where I'm at.